Um, today I will be using an angle grinder to strip the paint off the oil sump. Once that's done, I can attach the oil sump to the bottom of the engine and get all that compartment sealed up and that's that job done. And then I can move on to putting the head on and once the oil sump's on, I'm kind of 90% of the way there, so um, I'm keen to get that on. And I don't want the bottom of the engine exposed to the elements. I'm, it's covered and I'm covering it in uh, oil and stuff to keep it um, the rust away, but I need to get it sort of covered up because this uh, salt water can be quite corrosive. So yes, that's today's so job. So this is what I'm working on at the minute. This is the uh, oil sump that goes the bottom of the engine. As soon as I've managed to get all the paint off this and repainted it, I will be able to fit it to the bottom of the engine and that's the bottom of the engine done, which is a milestone really. And once that's done, then all I have to do is fit the head and Bob's your uncle. I got my hither to have latex gloves for maximum sexiness. One of the problems with my ME is uh, stamina. I can only, like I said before, I can only work on the board for about an hour at a time, but I can only do physical jobs like this for about five minutes before my um, hands start to become numb with pins and needles and I have to take a rest. It's one of the reasons why this um, project takes so long because um, my physical... Um, What's the word? I want to say shortcomings, but that's not right. Uh, my physical limitations mean that I can have all the plans in the world, but I can only actually do it at this really slow pace, which can be annoying sometimes. But because um, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and um, like SV Seeker and um, Samson Boat, thing, and, and I think. Um, I've got the enthusiasm that they've got. I just wish I had the um, the energy. You know, I've, I, I, if I had the body I had sort of 20 years ago before I, I, I became ill with ME, I would have finished this boat two years ago and I'd be sailing it around Europe by now. But because of my limitations, everything is so incremental. And it's easy to sort of give up hope when, when life's like that and just sort of give in but uh, I'm not trying to be sanctimonious I don't want to just but... sort of live my life according to the limitations of, of this stupid illness I want to sort of push it as much as I can and get as much out of life as, as, as I can I look back at all the, the stuff I did in the past like working on a carnival in America and, and uh, travelling around Europe and all kinds of crazy stuff that I did and um, I want to be sort of adventurous like that again and um, this illness it just it strips all of that away from you but even worse it sort of strips away your confidence 
so you don't believe that you can um, that you can do those things anymore, and and you just want to sort of stay at home where it's safe, and you you know where everything is, and you there's no um, hidden surprises, and you know I don't want to sort of slide into old age a boring old fart watching television and doing fuck all I want to do exciting things again so yeah that's that's the reason I push myself to do this even though it takes forever and I'll probably be 54 before I finish so but I told Bev that the boat was my project for my 40s and once I'm 50, I've got another project in mind. So I reckon um, a decade per project should uh, is about the pace I can work at. Get back to this. So, there we have it, 90% done, um, there's still little bits of paint here and there but I'm going to finish those off with a smaller wire brush on my drill, I don't have that here at the minute, but um, it's, I'm quite pleased with that. As you can see, my dust shield was quite marginally successful. Kept the end, the rest of the muck dust free. We don't want to mix our dirt up, so we've got a clear line between paint dirt and dirt dirt. That's what we want. Anyway, I'm going to tidy this shit up, and then I'm probably going to have a bit of a rest in that hammock because I'm shattered. So, uh, back on the boat, I've, um, I've been mostly tidying up today, which has um, used up all of my spare energy, I think, so I'm probably going to head off soon. I, um, today and yesterday, I've been preparing the, um, the thing you're sitting on now, the oil sump. been sanding it, uh, grinding it down, um, cleaning off all the old paint. Getting ready to respray it with some uh, engine paint I've just ordered from the I've internet. been looking through some photographs to put like a slideshow together of the work I've done so far. Um, and um, they cover the last sort of four years. And what it shows is a lot of activity until two years ago um, where I got the engine stripped down and diagnosed the fault. The following year we moved into our new shop for our cake business and I spent the whole um, year kitting out the shop so all of my spare time was dedicated to that so I didn't touch the boat for almost a year I, I sort of come down and lined the hammock obviously but I didn't do any um, actual work on it um, the following year um, me and Bev both ended up in hospital with uh, I had double pneumonia and flu she had uh, pneumonia as well um, we been working too hard basically and um, because of my um, compromised immune system I was really susceptible to uh, infection. Anyway we um, it took us we had to close the business for about four months and it took us um, a good six or seven months so to get over That's it. the reason I've not done anything on the boat for the last two years basically. Um, I've tinkered a bit and I've sort of done things in my workshop like um, clean up engine parts ready for reassembly. Um, so I've done a lot of prep work, which is which is enabling me to sort of do the reassembly quite fast. So what all that means is, um, hopefully, now that I'm back to um, not full health, but I'm a lot better than I was, um, and I've got the oil sump 
just about fitted, um, I'm thinking that they'll probably get the thing going in the next sort of six months, so definitely this year, this summer, um, because all now that I've done the um, the main bearings and the crankshaft's been replaced and the pistons and um, the piston sleeves. I'll show all this in, in a slideshow because I photographed it all. But that's sort of a, the bulk of the work. Now I just have to put the head on and, and sort of reassemble it and uh, fit all the gaskets and the exhausts and the gears. and Still a lot to do, but I think I've done the, um, the, the hardest bit, the most sort of um, the bulk of the work. So hopefully um, I'll get it all finished soon and I'm going to... I'm going to put together a slideshow um, of a couple of hundred pictures of the strip down and reassembly up until a couple of weeks ago. Um, it might be uh, worth watching, it might be incredibly dull, in which case I won't put it online. But it's, it's, a, it's a record of what's going on, so I'll, um, I'll sort that out. And hopefully um, this should be online and a hopefully more get some more views. I've had 57 views on my last one. I think about 47 of them have been my friends and family. So I've got like at least one genuine subscriber. So I think Doug Jackson from SB Seeker fame is uh, subscribed. So that's good. It's um, Doug's really sort of um, encouraging the people like me, um, amateurs who are sort of just starting out um, on this sort of journey of doing YouTube, he's sort of, he's really encouraging and, and good about it. Um, so yeah, that's it.